Gemini Weekly Love Read for the week of January 1st. Um, Happy New Year. I'm a Salem descendant on both sides of my family. I am a witch, the real kind. And if it gets chatty in here, don't be scared. You're feeling impatient. You have a choice to make between people. You have to offer commitment to someone, you know this. And so you're feeling a little anxious, pressured. Mm. I think someone might have stopped fighting for you and it got your attention. And you're realizing that that's the person that you want to have a future with. I think without this person, your life kind of feels unbalanced. Yeah. You haven't offered your love fully yet, but I think that you're thinking about it. Spirit, how does Gemini's person feel for the week of January 1st? They're moving on. Six of Swords, they've moved on. They're moving on. Ten of Cups, they want this happy ever after. And if you're not going to give it to them, they're going to find it elsewhere. They're over. I think that they're keeping secrets. Honestly, I have to pull that card. Um, or, you know what? I think that, yeah them moving on is not a secret anymore. I think that they were trying to and now they are. Oh. Um, yeah, with the two of swords, king of swords, a lot of air energy, not surprising since you are an air sign. King of swords though, they're, they're, this is the king that wins wars. They are like, enough is enough. I want what I want. And I think that they feel like the situation is hopeless. Hermit for you guys with the Three of Cups. Thinking through your decisions. I think that you were thinking for a little bit and not making a move, but I think now, now you're making a choice. Three of Wands. You're still, I think that you'll pick this person, but you'll still look at other options or look at what is in store for you guys. You're just constantly on the go, I think. Yep, there's that nine of cups in reverse. You don't feel secure. There's not a secure energy in the relationship. Nine of swords was guarded. Now it's kind of like, Five of Cups, you could be feeling upset about this. That's interesting. That happened for a fucking reason. What's sitting on the outside? The Emperor and the Empress. That's fucking... I'm, like, in awe of the universe right now for how they did that to me. Like... Missing two cards out of the deck, okay, but I don't know how I missed two cards out of the deck and they are the Empress and the Emperor. You want this person because they are your equal, that they're your other half. This is the other half of your soul or a very strong soul tie. You guys are leaders. That's like, I can't, 
clarify six of wands and it's like eight of cups so your person looks like they're moving on but they're not they're stuck on this um even if they are seeing other people they're still thinking about you they want you to offer your love they feel the same way that you do they're just sick of showing it Yeah, that's what it is. I saw, just saw Three of Swords heartbreaks. They've just felt heartbroken over the situation too many times. King of Pentacles, they are moving on loudly or trying to get your attention that they're moving on because, or just not caring if you see them trying to move on because they want this King of Pentacles. They want this person that's going to show up for them and be reliable and honest and like treat them the way that they deserve to be treated. And I think that when you have a lot of options to choose from, it can be overwhelming. You can like detach and take a step back. You don't want to be rushed into making a decision, which is understandable. But some people need to have validation or if they're emotionally invested, you know, they need a little bit more depending on the person. King of Swords with the Six of Swords, their tactic to getting your attention is moving on or to make it appear like they're moving on or they are trying to be strong and overcome their feelings and move on. Trying is the key word because they're not doing a very good job. I think with the Hermit and the Eight of Pentacles, you're going inside and you're inside yourself and you're deciding what do I want to put my time and attention towards? What do I want to work towards? What does the future, what do I want my future to hold for me? And it's this pre-empress energy in the reverse. It's the empress is actually, I'm going to put this up for you as the vibe, because out of these three, three cups, the one that you want is that empress energy. your secret i just got like the biggest wave of like emotion your secret is that you are choosing this that you want this person they don't know that you want them they have no idea king of swords over the nine of cups being having this energy of um like unstableness between you two having a not solid connection is putting you both since you both are an emperor and um, an empress, I'm going to assume that you fight the same way, so you kind of move the same way. I just bit my tongue, so they could be talking about you, or what the F? Nine of Cups upright. So Nine of Cups in reverse here with the King of Swords. Nine of Cups upright here. I think that you're going to end up, both of you will put your guards down and feel confident in the fact that you'll be able to trust each other. Okay. That's, I'm just so in awe of this right now. You don't even know. You don't even know. Like, how? How did I miss two cards? And the two cards are these cards. Like, they weren't together. <laughs> Thank you. Focus on what you want. What is it that you want to bring into your life? Manifestation is real. If you can have a soul ascension, then you don't have to try to manifest. It comes easily to you. Having faith in the universe. Faith in yourself. Peace. And if you want to have peace, 
you need to let go of resistance. Resistance is thinking, well, I wonder what this person thinks. Well, what if this happens? Well, what if that happens? Resistance is thinking, period. You want to just be, let be, and bring in the things that you want. Now, when I say manifest, you... Sorry, someone's painting my house. Um, eleven, eleven on the camera. Um, for manifesting, if you have any resistance, any resistant thought, you will not get anywhere. You need to let go of resistance. So focus and faith. Be bold. Make the first move. I think your person is just not going to make that move on you. Step out of your comfort zone. And what do you need to release? You know what? Those have to come out for you. Step out of your comfort zone. And what do you need to release? You need to release your other choices and focus on this person. If that's what you really want, then you have to make the move. What is from this person's block? What is their block? What's from this person's block in this relationship? Alone in the world. That's really interesting and hiding your true self. So they feel like they're alone in the world right now. You know, I think that they really love you and they want you, but they feel alone. And their block is they're having trouble they won't communicate that to you. Hiding your true self, they're hiding the fact that they feel alone. Weight of the world. So you need to set boundaries because you have weight of the world and spirit wants you to set boundaries with people let go of the problems that aren't yours to carry why should you carry extra weight you have enough to carry soul memories and gifts and with that the emperor and the empress and you've done this before that's twin flamey it's twin flamey 1117 if you've seen that you need to uh look and see what a twin flame is but honestly if it is you will look it up Inner Earth and Star Family, yeah. Connect to the universe. You have a whole soul family that will show up for you. As I pass, my Earth Angel gave me this deck of cards. I think of her. She passed away. I picture her holding the door open for everyone's loved ones when they're looking for love advice. New love. And it's safe for you to love. So you're either having a new beginning with someone or you're having, um, it's either a new, a new cycle with someone or a new person. It's safe for you to love. Honeymoon and playfulness. So being with this person makes you feel lighthearted and happy. It's a playful energy. Passion. Love yourself first. Um, I think a different relationship could be causing separation right now, but that is coming to a close. Um, this person wants you to love yourself and to feel happiness. I'm fucking recording. What a time to be alive. 
Okay. Spirit, what does Gemini's person want to say to them? What does Gemini's person want to say to them, Spirit? Gemini's person. I can still feel you. So if you're new love and it's safe for you to love, I just wasn't ready for you. So maybe you came into their life at a time where they weren't fully ready and maybe that kind of made you consider other options. Um, I can still feel you. They think about the fun that you guys have and the passion you have in the relationship. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. They, the passion they feel for you is just unparalleled. They have a lot of love for you. Spirit, anything else from this? I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. You've been in my dreams. And if this is a twin flame relationship, you will dream about them. So that's interesting. If this resonated for you, please like, subscribe, and share. If you'd like an extended reading, please shoot me an email.